Every year, TD Salsa in Toronto highlights some inspiring pieces from Latino and Hispanic artists, celebrating Canada's multiculturalism and Toronto's love for Latino arts and culture. I am so happy to be presenting Clandestino Arts. They're an award-winning duo that have gained international recognition for their unique artistic approach. Bruno Smokey and Shalak Attack are extremely passionate and talented, and today they're going to be sharing their murals and their artwork with all of us. Hi, we're the Clandestinos. I'm Shalak Attack. And I'm Bruno Smokey. And we are visual artists, muralists, uh, living in the city. We're partners and in art and in life. And we're based in Toronto and from South America. I'm from Chile. And I'm from Brazil, Sao Paulo. And we're happy to be here talking to you today. We have several murals in the city and around Ontario and Canada. But when we first arrived together to Toronto, we were based in the Dundas Street uh, West area. And uh, we were kind of welcomed by the Latino community. And we did a lot of collaborations with them and Lula Lounge is around there. And then we started to get to know different uh, owners and uh, Portuguese community too. And people started inviting us to paint all these murals and uh, the little, how do you call them, the laneways. So we ended up kind of uh, taking over all the Taking alleys. over the, the whole laneway. So if you go in, it's almost like a gallery. You see different pieces and we invited different artists and stuff too. The Violeta's garden that I painted a few years ago, it was when Violeta had literally just been born. It's a majestic bird and he's, uh, he's surrounded by flowers. And right on top of his head, there's a landscape with the mountains of Chile. Uh, and the bird is an arpia, a Brazilian eagle. So it's, it's almost like we're bringing our culture and creating a, a, a statue that, you know, not just uh, representing and symbolizing her, but also guarding her and protecting her as well. So it's a very special mural for us. There's a couple other uh, projects that we did uh, at underpasses in the city, working with the city and the TTC. One was at Corktown and King and Sumac Street, where it has uh, four pillars and it's called Frozen Memories and it's talking about the history um, of that neighborhood. It was a nice evolution and we're still evolving. I'm excited to see what we're going to be painting when we're 80, 85 Sorry. years old what kind of images are going to come out. So. I mean, it won't, yeah, we have a lot to paint, so uh, we're going to be painting <laughs> until we're very old. 